Ypsilanti right now is a city of about uh, 22,000 people and it's a little over four square miles and the downtown sits right at the center of that city. In a town of 22,000 people, uh, you're lucky to have one downtown and we have two. The depot town area, uh, it's just two blocks long. It's known as one of the most family friendly areas uh, in southeast Michigan. The downtown really has a little more of an edge than Depot Town. The, the downtown is the largest uh, of the two commercial areas, and uh, it's about a five-block area, and uh, that you know has everything from you know a, dr a drugstore and a hardware store where you know, the pharmacist and the owners know you by name. So the city is an incredibly walkable city. You're never more than uh, two miles or so from the downtown, so it makes it immensely walkable. Uh, we have mass transit with AAT that connects you to Ann Arbor. Uh, we're also very close to the airports. We have home of Eastern Michigan University, so there's a lot of that youth culture and the innovation uh, that we get from that whole energy we get from there. There's a, a real strong vision that people have of what the city should look like, and they marry that with active involvement in the community. So it's not just uh, people with good ideas, but it's that people acting on those good ideas. We also have a very vibrant uh, creative culture. Uh, many people have heard about the Shadow Art Fair. I think that's really kind of the, one of the big surface events, if you will, of where that culture kind of meets the, the wider community. We have families here with young people. We have college people. And we have you know, that life cycle where people are graduating from local universities, staying here, raising families. Uh, sending them to the local public schools. Public schools are great. And then, you know, they're retiring here and they're not doing, you know, the kind of the stereotypical flying down to Florida or to Arizona. So we have everything from buildings uh, from the early 1800s uh, to grand Victorian buildings and houses. Mixed in with that whole mix are just incredibly uh, vibrant retailers who've really found some really great niches where downtown is, is really becoming very, very well known for the nightlife. Uh, there's some bars, live music bars downtown. You know, everyone from uh, Elijah McCoy to Iggy Pop you know, lived right here in Ypsilanti. Domino's Pizza revolutionized the pizza restaurant industry. Um, Tom Monahan did that right here in Ypsilanti. That's what um, creates the place, not just significant buildings clustered around a very defined city, um, but it's also the people, uh, both current and former, that make that, that unique place.